Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming Logic number 3. I thought I'd go to the N64 era for this one. On the famous game James Bond Goldeneye. Well at the pause screen the Goldeneye, James Bond holds up his watch to look at it. Which got me thinking, if I were a villain with the weakest weapon in the world... Would James Bond's watch have any stopping power? If I was aiming, and I'm talking about I'm aiming straight for his watch while he's looking at it. And I'm going to count that it's going to be the whole watch and its sickness. And I'm going to be using the weakest weapon in the world considered a 2 millimeter rimfire pistol. <laughs> which, is, uh, which is effective mostly for shooting squirrels and birds. So I thought I would go with the squirrels part. Well, let's take a look at the watch James Bond was wearing. I'm going to be saying it's the same one he used in the movie, which was a Rolex Submariner, which has a thickness of around 12 millimeters. Convert that to centimeters, about 1.2 centimeters, and convert that to inches, about 0.427 inches. So I thought, what can a rimfire penetrate? Well, since it's most effective for shooting squirrels and birds, I thought I'd look at them. So I'll be comparing the rimfire's actions against James Bond's watch, 12 millimeters, <coughs> or 1.2 centimeters, to a squirrel skull, which can, which a rimfire can barely penetrate. Mm. Well, a squirrel skull is about a third of a centimeter. And since it can barely penetrate that, that means that if I had a Rolex Submariner like James Bond, it would be an effective shield against a rimfire 2 millimeter. Now, I'm not saying that it would block every bullet. I'm just saying that if by luck he was using a two millimeter rim fire and I had a Rolex Submariner on me, then I'd be good to go. Of course, the enemies in GoldenEye are using high ca higher caliber weapons and would probably kill James Bond in an instant if he ever thought about looking at his watch for even a second. But. This is game logic, and we had just to look at some surprising facts. Thank you for watching, and tune in next time right here on Gaming Logic. See you.